What's up, Truth and Love? Welcome back to another segment of Let's Talk About It. I'm Secret. And I'm Vanessa. So Pastor went into part two of the Conquering, Conquest series, excuse me, Conquering Culture. What did you think about the worship today? Oh, the worship was just over the top good. Everything about the worship was awesome, awesome worship. I love the way they flow in those songs yes. towards the end. And then shout out to Paris. He came up and he gave us that word in that song about the seed in the ground. Yes. That was good. Yes. And pastor scripture was Joshua 2, 21. So he talked about countering the culture and ways that we do that. And one of the first things that he teed up for us was countering our comfort zone. And that one's a real tough one for us because most of us, we love to be comfortable and we mm -hmm. love to dwell in the realm of familiarity. It's just a human trait. Mm -hmm. Where I'm familiar, that's where I dwell. What do you think about coming out of your comfort zone? Um, it was a hard place to do that. Um, mm -hmm. I remember coming out. Uh, my comfort zone and um, when I moved away from my hometown mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. here in this journey that I've been on and I remember uh, you know I was comfortable with my my father was my pastor mm -hmm. you know I was with in the same church the family church and all of that so that's all I knew mm -hmm. in that little town and then when God was saying you know I'm gonna take you from familiar I'm gonna take mm -hmm. you to a place where you don't know anybody mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna take church as you knew it out of you and put me in you yes and so I'm like oh okay you know yes so so making that transition uh, it, it took a lot um, you know it's like he had to almost you, you have to kind of detox yes from, from yes, old habits sure. uh, religious things things that were taught to you that were uh, religious, you, yeah. you know, religiously practice, and that was nothing wrong with that. But as you grow, you know, uh, as you grow, because I learned a lot from there. Was uh, one of the things I learned from being in the familiar place was um, uh, the commitment. Yes, you was committed to being familiar. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so it that was a good place. It was a good learning place. And um, so, but when God does a thing and he's saying, I want, you know, I, I got more for you. Yes. You got to get up. You know, right. you have to get up. You so, got to move. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One of the things that you said was really important, though. You said, that's all I knew. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we focus or fix it on something and we stick beside it. We're creatures of habit. Right. But one of the points that Pastor May was comfort says, if this is taken away from me, I'll just be devastated. I'll be crushed. We'll be singing Tony Braxton, unbreak my heart, because he took away <laughs> <laughs> that was familiar to us. And you said we have a commitment to it. Mm -hmm. But our faith says, he pointed out that our faith says that if I lose this, God has something better right. for me. Right. And with being in the family, you get scared. Yes. Because God doesn't give you all the details. Right. He just says go. <laughs> and you're like, but I know this and yeah. yes. I don't know that. Mm -hmm. So how mm -hmm. can we lean into our faith to mm -hmm. just go? You know what? It, I... I heard someone say this here, and I've stuck with this for about 15 years now. Mm -hmm. She said, um, um, if you believe God said, for, told you to do something, it's better to just step out and do it versus, you know, um, not doing it. Because if you step out and do it and, and it, you find that it wasn't God, he yeah. know where you are and he know how to bring you back. Right. So it's not like at least you took the chance to, you know, some people never take a chance. True. So, I, I mean, I might be called considered a daredevil or fearless really yeah yeah but is it the hair uh, yeah well that's that just coming out now that's in my my brother says how come you waited till you get old to uh color your hair i was mm. like because i just came into who i am i'm just coming into who i am flourish yeah yeah flourish flourish nice. <laughs> So, so yes. anyway, so that that place of uh, being fearful mm -hmm. uh, of what people gonna think, or what Ooh. people gonna say, or how they gonna perceive you, and now you, uh, and I'm not gonna say that because I was gonna say what Red Butler said, but I'm not gonna say that. What he said? <laughs> Frankly, he don't care. 
Why, what's wrong with that? Tell him. Let him know. <laughs> Frankly, he don't care. Me no car. No, but you know, you, we can't. If you, if you all, if you're always wondering how people are gonna perceive you, yes. you'll never do what God told you're you to do. You're shackled. Yes. You, you're fearful. Yeah. You'll walk in fear, and then that, that adds on other things and other stuff. And so you, you have to uh, be confident of the God in you. Yes. And then the God who called you. I mean, yes. if He called you, then, then of course, if He put it in you, He's got you covered. Yes. And so I'm going fearless. Piggybacking off what you said with the hair, you said you're coming into your identity. I think that's such a beautiful thing for women. Mm -hmm. You come into your, your God-given identity. And it may not look like you, and it may mm -hmm. not look like them, right. but it's what God has put in me. So when you come into that, going to Pastor's point of countering conformity, everybody wants you to be what they want you to be. Right. And you know, Vanessa, people will assign you a place in mm -hmm. their head. Mm -hmm. And they won't want you to leave from that. They'll expect Absolutely. you to conform to that. And mm -hmm. we know that our culture wants us to conform to this heavy spirit of debauchery okay. and hedonism where we just do whatever we want to do. And I think Pastor touched on that. Was there a time in your life where you had to really resist conforming to the, the society and the people around you? Yes. Oh, oh, several times. Things, some, some things come to mind. But um, I had to make a choice. That yes. It, it was it, it boiled down to making a choice. Do I want God or do I want that? Right. And the, the choice was I wanted God. You right. know, I wanted God more than I wanted that thing. Yes. And that thing, um, that thing was not gonna draw pull me closer to God. It was gonna take me away from God. Yes. So it's it's all about a choice, even you know, deciding, uh, yes, you know, God is He's the most important thing. When we say he's the most important thing, we make him the most important thing. Yes, ma'am. I agree. That is very wise. And so he had these other points. And there was one of them, excuse me, that he parked on, countering with concealment. The other ones, y'all, was counter with confidence and counter with covenant. But he parked at the counter with concealment there for a minute. And mm -hmm. you know what I thought was funny? What? Just a little segue. When you talked about Will and Jada, do you remember for years everybody was like, I want to have a marriage like Will and Jada. Yeah, I'd yeah. be like, and then they came to that red table. <laughs> and they talked about entanglements and revenge. And he was like, I'm going to get you back. Mm -hmm. Jada's like, yeah, mm -hmm. I did that. So I think that speaks to sometimes we set our hearts on things in our, our culture that we want to be like and conform to. Right. Come to find out it's not even really mm -hmm. what it looked like. No. They're miserable behind closed doors, and Absolutely. people are striving to a standard that isn't even real. Right, right. Have you ever seen that? Yes, okay. I've seen that. Yes, I've okay. Seen that. We just wanted to throw yeah, that out. Yeah, we had that. That was that was for free. Yeah, catch That's that. Catch, catch that. Yeah. But counter with concealment. Let's. Mm -hmm. We're gonna close with this one because this is so big. He was speaking about people with gossip and people with loose lips, Vanessa. Mm -hmm. They're unsafe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the key to vulnerability is safety. Right, you can't right. flourish in intimacy where you feel mm -hmm. um, danger or right, unsafe. Right. Mm -hmm. So if I tell you something very intimate about me and you spray me, mm -hmm. I can't trust you. Absolutely. And so when they sent the spies, they sent them secretly. Mm -hmm. How do you move in your purpose knowing that you need to be concealed while remaining authentic? Oh, that's good. Because I, I you know, and I've just came through this with someone just a few mm. months ago and um you know i'm 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 a free spirit so mm -hmm. i'm i'm free spirit so i'm i'm happy go lucky you know sometimes people be talking about me and it'll go right on over my head because mm -hmm. i that's that's I'm not, not where that. i'm at yeah, yeah i'm not there i'm not right. there and and so <laughs> oh i said I, I, once that happened i said i think they were i think they were talking about me <laughs> duh but uh anyway <laughs> Anyway, uh, <laughs> they tried it. They tried it. Yes, but you know what? I, but for a long time, I, um, you know, I was always sharing. Every time God reveals something, yeah. I wanted to share. Oh, ooh, yeah. God said. Oh, God said. Oh, God said. You're excited. Yes, right? I'm so excited. And then not realizing everybody's not on your team. Amen. Everybody wasn't on my team. Amen. And 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 something that God gave me to do. Someone I was sharing with someone who I thought was very close to me, and mm -hmm. we go by years and and find out that she she thought that I had gone in the spirit and 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 heard the Lord talking to her and um, snatched her idea, and the, and that's been three years ago. What? <laughs> yeah. Wait, is she okay? I mean, is she. All... I don't know. I, I you know, but but. <laughs> And it was, I was like dumbfounded. She called me one morning on the way before church, seven mm -hmm. o'clock in the morning, one Sunday mm -hmm. morning. I had 
to do praise and worship. Uh -oh. She called me with this stuff about what um, she she had an alt against me, and she wanted to tell me, and mm -hmm. then that was a part of it. And I'm listening to him like. Oh, laying in bed and I get up I had to get up out of the bed and I mm -hmm. went to the table dining room table I'm sitting I'm listening I let her talk it out and then I said I'm disturbed I said this disturbs me this disturbs me I said I you know uh, what are you talking about yes I I'm like mm -hmm. God has told many people to do different things and some yes. of the same things but you bring your flavor, I bring my flavor. Yes. I would have never thought you would have felt that way toward me. And I was that mm -hmm. thing, that thing hurt me. We just, it's, the relationship is not the same. I haven't talked mm -hmm. with her since uh, March of this year. Mm -hmm. I think it was in March. And um, the Lord finally told me to call her. And mm -hmm. I called, and she was waiting for me to call. She mm -hmm. wanted to call. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and, but the thing was, but from even from that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm toning it down a little bit, you know, on the information that I put out there. Yeah. So that, you know, I'm not trying to get in God's business. What God called you to do is what God called you to do, yeah. but what God has called me to do. And now you didn't, she still hasn't taken off with what God told her to do. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing it for going on four years now. So, uh. I mean, what what's to hold up now? You know, yeah. you felt like, well, how long are you going to do this? She would question me about how long are you going to be doing this? And how long, mm -hmm. da, 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 you know, you know, just and I'm like, well, why is she asking me that? Yeah. You know, stuff like yeah. that. And uh, so anyway, um, I'm learning to as I as I go, as I grow, I'm growing. I'm still growing mm -hmm. and I'm learning. Everybody's not for you. Everybody's Amen. not doesn't have your best interest. They're not praying for you. Yeah. Um, and and uh, I'm learning how to pull back a little bit, just a little bit. But I'm not going to stop being me, yeah. you know, my authentic self. But I just don't include you in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? You just can't Very include everybody. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're using discernment with what you share while also holding on to yourself. Mm -hmm. you uphold the boundary while remaining authentic. Remaining true. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Thank you Amen. so much, Vanessa, for sharing with me. Amen. And I hope that y'all will find the strength and the courage and the power of the Lord to conquer and to resist this culture, this evil day, mm -hmm. all these customs and things of the world and paradigms that try to indoctrinate us and cause us to become contrary to who God is. Amen. We know God. So let's rise up and conquer this culture. Hit us in the comments and let us know what really stood out to you. Which counter tactic are you going to use? Amen. And as always thanks for rocking with us on another segment of let's talk about it we'll see you next time amen <laughs>